Hi, I'm Kronos with a video on the basics of using the BitShares decentralized exchange. BitShares is a blockchain similar to the Bitcoin blockchain or other cryptocurrencies, but one of its key features is its ability to store multiple different kinds of tokens directly on the blockchain. For example, you have the BitShares token BTS, but you also have BitShares smart coins such as BitUSD or BitCNY, which are pegged to the value of an outside source. For example, BitUSD is pegged to the value of the US dollar. BitShares also has user-issued assets, which allows you to create tokens on the blockchain and allow them to be freely traded with other tokens without needing to trust any third party. This makes the whole ecosystem very powerful. In this video, we'll just look at how to use the BitShares exchange. We'll look at the different pieces of the interface and how they work, and then we'll demonstrate trading BTS or BitShares tokens for BitUSD, which stabilizes their value against the US dollar. Let's get started. Here we are at the BitShares web wallet at bitshares.org slash wallet, and you can immediately see at the front of the page the featured markets. These markets are where you can trade one BitShares asset for another without trusting any third party. The trades occur directly on the BitShares blockchain. Today we'll be focusing on the BitUSD market, but you can click one of these other markets if you want to buy a different BitShares asset. With each market, you can see the recent price, in this case about 250 bit shares per bit USD, and then over the past 24 hours, the volume and any price changes. Let's open the BitUSD market now. If you've used an exchange before, this screen might look pretty familiar to you, but just in case, let's cover some of the key components. In the upper right, you can see the different markets on the BitShares exchange, and this is sorted by volume. So for example, the top market is the BitCNY market, which is BitShares smart coin pegged against the Chinese yuan. So if you're looking for some active trading, you might trade there or another market with top volume. If you don't see the market you're looking for, you can always click the Find Market tabs to search directly by asset name. Now, of course, you're probably looking at this price chart because most people want to look at price when they look at markets. This is a candlestick chart, and if you're not familiar with what candlestick means, you can look that up online. Just search for candlestick price charts to see exactly how to read these. But I just want to highlight a few things on this interface here. You can change the width of the candle. These are four-hour candles right now, which means each candlestick is four hours of time. You can make them wider, one-day candles, or even extremely narrow with five-minute candles. Another important component is the zoom. We're looking at the last four days right now, but let's take a step back and look at the last month of price history. This is the last month of BitUSD trading. Under chart options, you can add some popular um, indicators that traders use, such as the exponential moving average. So I'd recommend taking a peek in that if you're a more experienced trader. Now, this is looking at the past, but if you want to make a trade, you also want to look at the current state of the market. And to do that, I'd recommend the market depth button here, which changes the view to the market depth. You can do a Google search for market depth trading in order to see exactly how to read these charts. But let me give you a quick primer. The blob on the left here are all of the offers to buy BitUSD at the current time. And this area on the right are the offers to sell and the price is shown at the bottom. So you can see that the current market price is where these two are meeting at about 250 bit shares per bit USD. The height indicates the volume of offers to purchase. So this large section here is a large offer to buy bit USD at a certain price. Looks like it's at about 236 BTS. Let's take a look at the data that's behind this chart. If we scroll down, we can actually see the specific buy orders and sell orders that are being used to create this chart. Now, if we look for 236 bit shares per bit USD, take a look right there. This order is a very large order. It's for over 3,000 bit USD. So that's what's actually causing that little rise in the chart. And you can look at all the buy orders here. This is even scrollable if you click show all. And here's all the sell orders as well. So I'd recommend taking a look at the offers to buy and sell in order to get an idea of the sentiment of the market. A little bit further down, you can see any open orders. We don't have any open orders right now. The recent trades, they've all occurred at about 250 bit shares per bit USD in recent history. And then trades that we've just completed, which is currently empty. So let's fix that. I want to make a trade to buy BitUSD. I currently have about a thousand BitShares, so I want to buy one BitUSD. 
Scrolling up to the top, we can see sell offers in this range at about 250. Let's look at the raw data to get an exact idea of who's offering to sell BitUSD right now. Here's the best sell offer at 249. That's even better. The price is lower than I expected. And they're offering to sell 273 BitUSD, which is far more than I need. A quick trick is to just click on one of these offers and it will fill in the offer to buy for you. So you can see in the buy BitUSD section, I've now this information filled in automatically. The price is exactly what I want. The amount is far too much because it filled in the entire offer, but I just want to buy one bit USD, so let's change that. Here's the total I'm spending and the fee, which is very, very low, less than one BTS, which is less than one US cent. Let's click buy to initiate the offer. I have my wallet password in my clipboard here, so let's just paste it in and unlock the wallet. You get one more confirmation dialog that says, are you sure you want to place this order? Here's the price I'm willing to pay, the amount of bit shares I'm selling, the amount of BitUSD I'm buying, and the fee for the transaction. This looks perfect, so let's confirm it. Now the transaction has been broadcast on the BitShares blockchain, and the trade will execute automatically. Now let's take a look at our balances. As you can see, 752 BTS, that's because I traded that 250, and I have exactly one BitUSD as a result of the trade. That wraps up our quick tour of the BitShares Decentralized Exchange. There's lots more to cover, such as margin trading, but we'll have to save that for another time. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.